Today's generation, again, I would say that extremely lucky because literally any information, whatever you want to know, it can be derived within seconds. Failing to understand how it's happening. Uh, we take things for granted. Uh, when I was going through a few notes on Sevi I I did not know that you know it existed in washing machines and all those kind of things. You normally don't think about it, even in cars. You don't think about all these things. It's it's a bit like you know uh, a solid foundation at home. Your parents do a lot of things for you. You take those things for granted without getting too deep into those things. You feel that it is not so it is a little bit like that. So, so to me, uh, any any woman is a back, backbone of a family. And uh, if one has to speak about semiconductors and electronics, it's the same thing. Uh, I I remember uh, when I when I actually looked at uh, Dr. Kapoorkar and you, your relationship. Obviously, remind, reminded me of uh, my relationship with my coach and my younger days. When uh, my coach's advice to me was, the more you talk, the more you will learn. The more you want to absorb, the better you will get in life. And always remember to be a student forever. And that is the only way you will continue to grow. And I can see that relationship here, uh, which is magnificent. Uh, Technology can do wonders. I remember in 2002, by then I had already played for 13 years for India and uh, laptop entered our dressing room for the first time. The first reaction was that the laptop was not But over a period of time, laptop won our hearts because our sessions became more purposeful. The meetings that we had planned before playing a big game became more precise, more constructive. And today, uh, if, if any team has to pick one member in the squad, the first one would be data analysts because they like to study opposition and they like to plan. So, this is the direction that the world is moving in. And, uh, you know, like I said, today's generation continues to surprise us and, and it will never stop because this journey has uh, uh, infinite opportunities. The way our country is responding to all these opportunities is incredible. Uh, this this journey has started with some expectations. It will uh, give us reasons to smile with some wonderful experiences as well. On this journey, you know, I want to wish you the very best of luck. I know there are going to be challenging moments, there are going to be ups and downs, but together I see this uh, uh, one solid team. I, I see good things happening in future. I want to wish you the very best of luck. Thank you once again. Hello, good morning. Uh, Everyone here, uh, firstly, thank you so much 
it is a, it is a very very emotional uh, moment for me. So I will not be able to speak more because for the first time in my career, I have seen uh, two legendary legends coming and blessing us. So for this, I really need you to clap. Um, You know, we are going into a venture which is today for most of the countries a period of fiction. Uh, I have always learned from Kakunkar sir is to convert fiction into reality. And we have done this from 2001 and whenever I try to do something which is presently a fiction converted to reality, I always seek his blessings. Down my journey later, it was very fortunate for me to meet sir, Sachin sir and uh, I just requested him and he was so kind enough and the most surprising aspect was when I was trying to tell him something about semiconductors, he was trying to tell me how it actually is formed actually. So this is something which uh, nearer to God is uh, obviously telling us about this. I am really very fortunate and uh, what I propose to do now is to uh, have a very small presentation so for Sir and Sachin Sir to understand what we are doing. We are going into a very, a very, very aggressive roadmap, getting good support from the government, and uh, we are going to do something which, in all due regards, will be different from the others. And this is again the blessings from Sir. He always wanted me to do something different from the others. In semiconductors, obviously, there are a few players. Uh, we are the first in Maharashtra to have taken this bold step. Thank you to my team of Purva and Shikhar who are actually working with me day and night and uh, we will deliver it probably uh, the, uh, by Diwali we will have something that we can show for everyone that we want to do and at the end of the day uh, we will deliver what we have said. Thank you very much. I think I will let you know. Sir, what is it? Every semiconductor that will be put in the niche will be done. No doubt about it. But अभी जैसे है, for example, अभी मारुति अपनी गाड़ियाँ बनाती है, Swift बनाती है, उसका उसका ये आ रहा है, chip से आ रहा है। वाले Mercedes जो है, वो C class बनाता है, वो E class बनाता है, वो S class बनाता है। तो वो variation हर एक company में होगा। आज अगर एक company automobile में focus करेगी, जैसे Tata का ये मानना है कि electric vehicle में जो chip बनने हैं, वो electric vehicles का ज़्यादा प्रमाण रहेंगे हम लोग हमारे फील्ड में करेंगे तो हर एक अपने अपने फील्ड में अलग रहेगा तो इसीलिए जो भी सेमीकंडक्टर टेक्नोलॉजी आएगी इंडिया में वो बहुत ही अच्छा काम करेगी हम लोग जाएंगे इमेजिंग में क्योंकि हमारा फील्ड है इमेजिंग का और इमेजिंग में आज बहुत ही कम लोग जो मैंने मैंने प्रेजेंटेशन में कहा था वर्ल्ड में तीन ही लोग हैं मार्केट इज ओवर मल्टी बिलियन डॉलर एंड ये हमको ये जो तो, कुछ भी करने के लिए ना सर एक टेक्नोलॉजी का सपोर्ट होना चाहिए उसके बाद हम लोग उसको आगे बढ़ा सकते हैं ये टेक्नोलॉजी भी हमको मिला और आज मैं ये दावे के साथ कह सकता हूँ कि इतनी जबरदस्त एनर्जी आज आ गई दो लेजेंडरी और दोनों का सोच भी सेम रहा मेरे हिसाब से सर ये हमारा मेचर हमारे पास अपूर्वा जी है जो चीफ टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफिसर और ये लोग दिन रात मेहनत करते हैं और हम लोग इसके ऊपर काफ़ी एडवांस काम कर चुके हैं इसके वजह से क्या है वो सेट करने के लिए जो फेफर्स चाहिए वो कोई टेक्नोलॉजी कंपनी देगी नहीं जब तक उसको कॉन्फिडेंस आता है कि हम उसको हैंडल करेंगे तो वो एक बेनिफिट हमारे लिए uh, okay, so the concept uh, was obviously something which is uh, beyond somebody's imagination of coming into this uh, chip. And the best way this journey has started is uh, very uniquely that you know we had two legendary legends at one time to bless this. I mean, this itself is an indication that we will not fail. Uh, Dr. Kakutkar sir has been my mentor uh, all throughout. It was just in our journey that we met Sachin sir and uh, he showed a lot of initiative uh, in, in what uh, we are doing. And uh, 
uh, he was it was in a very short notice that he decided because the moment he heard about semiconductors he was more excited and what else can you expect from a nearer to god person coming and blessing us in such a short notice so i think it is a wonderful beginning and uh, i simply feel that we will not fail So technically, uh, basically, yes, uh, uh, semiconductor venture is going to be a very huge investment, and uh, but uh, we are going to start it in phases, and the phase one would be like the standard OSAT, which is outsourcing semiconductor assembly testing. Uh, we uh, already have initiated a round of and uh, for investments, and we were very happy to know that you know uh, even with the support that. Uh, we got the main aspect was the technology so that is something which is in our control which has given us a valuation of today as we stand uh, this company has a valuation of 500 crores and there are investors investing at that value so we have got uh, good enough reserves to initiate the osat which is why apurva mentioned that by diwali we will be in a position to come closer to having set up something very real actually and uh, if by by 2024 5 june we should have a complete oset facility commissioned wherein uh, a good amount of investment will go in terms of machinery and part technology because oset obviously cannot be deployed unless we have a technology agreement signed with the technology provider because he is giving his heart so he is giving his a wafer which is already built and we have to do an assembly test so uh, yes uh, and we are doing this fast because we are going to obviously seek testing from maharashtra government Uh, because uh, once we are uh, successful in this, obviously this space is going to be very small, and uh, we have been in talks with the government, and uh, they are very uh, optimistic about it. And uh, I think uh, very shortly we will see some good support from government, where there will be lot of subsidies, which everybody is speaking about. Where uh, Gujarat, uh, we had uh, uh, Micron and uh, Tata Ji uh, coming in their foundation, so where in. obviously they have also come in with a uh, lot of subsidies maharashtra government is also equally thinking that lines and i think we'll have some better clear understanding with the government in the coming times but uh, not withstanding the fact that they are always appreciating the fact we had a couple of discussions had a presentation and it will be a, then a bigger facility bigger investment bigger subsidies uh, we will we uh, as i rightly said we will we are very confident that we will invest at least 5000 crores over the next 5 years which is the phase 1 of the project and the phase 2 we are uh, thinking about another 5000 crores but by the time we have completed phase 1 we will have huge investments coming in so our 10000 crores will be good enough to attract another 25000 crores of investment in the company. any questions sir sir सर एक्चुअली ऐसे देखना जाए अगर मोदी जी का ये अगर स्कीम नहीं होता तो सेमी कंडक्टर कंसेप्ट इंडिया में नहीं आता क्योंकि ये जो कंसेप्ट है इसमें जो इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट होता है बहुत बड़ा होता है तो कोई उतना रिस्क लेना चाहेगा क्योंकि ये टेक्नोलॉजी में फेलियर्स बहुत होता है डिज़ाइन uh, भी अगर सही कभी होता है तो फैब में काफ़ी फेलियर्स होते हैं और वो फेलियर को जो विच स्टैंड करना कभी कभी कॉरपोरेट्स को भी डिफिकल्ट होता है तो जब ये स्कीम्स आ गए तब जैसे अपने पहले विजनरी जैसे रतन टाटा जी मेरे बहुत ही बड़े विजनरी तो उस उसने तो इमीडिएटली ऐलान कर दिया कि हम वो डाल दिए क्योंकि सब्सिडी में जो बेनिफिट्स आ रही है जैसे अभी सेमी कंडक्टर्स में ओवर एन एवरेज 50 परसेंट का सब्सिडी मिल जाता है फिर गवर्नमेंट विद इन इंटरनल इंटर स्टेट में अगर आप सेल करोगे तो आपका जीएसटी वेवर मिलता है तो कहीं ना कहीं जाके आपको 50 टू 70 परसेंट का सब्सिडी मिल जाता है तो ये बहुत ही बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म है हम लोगों के लिए जो टेक्नोग्रेट सोच सकते हैं वो यही यही हीरा में सोच सकते हैं एंड ये आई रियली मेरा जो पहला सेटअप भी है आर आर पी एस फोर इनोवेशन जो अभी लिस्टिंग में जाएगी वो भी जो आत्मनिर्भर है वो बस जस्ट 
मोदी जी का जो एक स्कीम ये एक, एक सोच है ना सर वो टेक्नोक्रेट्स और एमएसएमई को कहाँ से कहाँ लेके जाएगा सर गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसी का फायदा और इसमें आने वाले फ्यूचर में किस प्रकार का डेवलपमेंट आप देख रहे हैं क्या देख रहे हैं फ्यूचर इसकी सर मैं मैं शायद बहुत ऑप्टिमिस्टिक हूँ बट मैं कहता हूँ कि एक बार मैंने अब्दुल कलाम जी का एक बुक पढ़ा था कि इंडिया को सुपर ह्यूमन कोई आके इसको सुपर करेगा ये एक कंसेप्ट थी आ, कलाम जी की और कलाम जी जब भी कुछ बोलता है ना तो ही उसका एक इंट्यूशन है वो ही इज ऑल्सो अ पर्सन नियर टू गॉड उसका ही सीज द फ्यूचर सब लोग सोच रहे थे कौन हो सकता है ये टू कैन ब्रिंग इट सुपर ह्यूमन एंड वी फाउंड दिस पर्सन हमारे ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर जी और सर मैं आ, शायद लोग मुझे और ऑप्टिमिस्टिक कहते हैं बट मैं ये देखता हूँ कि चार साल में वो फॉरनर्स विल कम एंड वर्क इन इंडिया This is what I am going to see. We will see Americans, we will see Britishers. They will be in, in India. They will be working here, and they will be a part of the Indian conglomerate. This is what I am seeing. India always has a very good skill set, uh, and what is that? Modi ji has realized that most of them go abroad, obviously for various reasons. Actually. But now things are reversing. You see, a lot of people are coming back to India, and in the next four or five years, the way I I, I cannot discuss some of the technologies that have come into India. Uh, uh, Obviously, simply implies that the next four to five years, you will see people coming into India, and India is going to be superhuman, established beyond doubt. Yes. मैं कॉस्मिक एनर्जी और यूनियर्स को बहुत मानता हूँ. इनको एक साथ लाना तो मेरा ताकत ही नहीं था टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट अब इनको दोनों को एक साथ एक ही टाइम पे आना क्लियरली इम्प्लेस कि हम जो भी करेंगे अभी सक्सेसफुल